Young fool. What do you call a stormtrooper with diarrhea? A storm pooper. It's a simple, it's somewhat effective joke. Anyway, it's day 228, and Nooch is going to elect the Special Forces TIE Fighter on his way to free-to-play Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Okay, here we are. It's day 228. That was a really, that was a kind of a lazy joke there. But anyway, uh, so... Today we are on day 228, relicking the First Order Special Forces TIE Pilot. And i got to tell you guys, we're, we're getting really close here. We've got three, four, five, six, seven relics. We're going to be have eight after today. We need uh, one, two, three, four more relics after today. Now we've, we've got to get the relic levels up, and Nooch is working on that. And i tell you, the way that we're going to do it is I'm going to get... Everybody up to one below their, their relic level needed. So he needs seven, five, five, seven, seven, five, five. Anyway, I'm going to work over, the, get them one under, and then like, boom, knock them over. <laughs> one out of 12, two out of 12, three, like that. That's how we're going to do it. Um, but today, special, first order special forces TIE fighter. Let's go ahead and look at his stats here. So we have this one piece left to craft. Now, Nooch can acknowledge, uh, some of you may be thinking, you know, whenever you do this and you've got one piece, sometimes you have this big piece here, sometimes you got one of these, not very often. It, it's I get it. It's it's not a perfect science, but, you know, I like to look at the numbers before the relic and after the relic. So if you write it down, it's, um, it's oh, hey, if, if you are enjoying this video series and you're enjoying watching Nooch in general, and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Where, where are we here? I've got to get to, uh, where's, where's 3PO? Where's 3PO? It's going to be the wrong thing. This is going to say follow, but you need to subscribe. Nooch subscribe data. to Nooch Reader. You got the, anyway, um, you need to subscribe to the channel, please. It helps Nooch get more viewers out there, get more traffic, and like the video, please. All right, anyway, so what are we at? We're at 34, let's just call that 35K health, 57.7. Uh, that's a lot of protection, I think. Uh, 225 speed. I don't think that's going to modify much. So the thing about First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter Pilot, 3571, okay, that's fine. I don't think he's going to realize 4374. Is really his biggest use is in fleets, and especially with the finalizer. So at this level, at in Division 10 in Grand Arena, at Nooch's uh, galactic power level of 1.3, 1.4, something like that, He's going to be an effective character to have, like on a defense or offensive team in Grand Arena. But he's not going to go in a squad arena team. Um, he's not really going to be used in raids necessarily, although now we might be, we're getting close to putting together two first order teams for raids. So really his his main thing is the piloting. And you know what I should have done and Nooch did not do? Nooch uh, sorely apologizes. Should have looked at these stats here, guys. Should have looked at these stats so we could see the difference here before and after. But too late. Too late. It is what it is. We're not going to do that. All right. So let's get back to Special Forces TIE Fighter Pilot. We had him at 35,000 health. He went to 39. That's a uh, 4,400 increase there. 57,000 protection. This is a 14,000 protection. That was a lot of protection he gained there. Uh, it looks like six speed, some damage, 130 damage, and some special. So, yeah, just a really nice relic there. And, uh, I don't know if that's it. That's what we got. Oh, let's go buy some of these pieces. Let's go buy some of these pieces and might as well amplify them. This this first... No, that's in the wrong place there. Um, I've already got this. Got this. Uh, we've been getting about here on, on this. Uh, that's kind of normal. Um, we need to click on the Jawa, not on the events. Nooch. Nooch, you dummy. So this first piece is kind of dicey because you see a lot of these here. And, I, and I've tried like... Um, combining them or making them into the regular piece it doesn't really add much value we got these down here so let's go ahead and pop 50 and yeah so we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're not we're not gonna need a ton of these i mean these are these are used for like level gear one gear two on characters so let's go ahead and wipe through a bunch of these and then i'm gonna go back up here to the top you know i probably got enough you just always feel like you're getting low when you get down you know, into the, the 100s and 50 and 75. So, you know, you, know, you just want to be careful like that. I just use way too many of those probably. 
But I'm going to need a truckload of these, so I might as well go ahead. Eh, these are a little more dicey. No way. What are the? What are these cuffs do? Oh, my goodness. These. Be careful, Nooch. Man, you could spend some... I better go look at the stuff I spent down on the bottom. Make sure I didn't spend anything valuable. Man, you could spend cuffs and... Mersan com link somewhere over there. I don't think any of this rest. The rest of this stuff is kind of garbo. Okay, let's go ahead and get 223 of these. We're still going to need more. We probably need 1,000 more. But for now, that'll do us. Uh, we got 80 of these. These are these are actually easier to get. You end up with more of these gear pieces than you do for the those uh, Tier 1 uh, pieces. What do we call them? Bronzium wiring. Carbonite circuit boards. You, you end up with more of this gear to spend on these bronzium wirings than you do for the carbonite circuit boards. So let's go ahead and pop some of these out. Yeah, we're good there. We're good there. Make sure we're careful with these. Yeah, a little careful here with these Mark VI, although I got plenty for it to last me quite some time. Uh, these are fine too. Yeah, so there's another 200 of those. We will need more, but that's what we got for now. Um, might as well load them up, right? And now, now we get into the slightly dicey. Like, you gotta be careful here. You don't want to be spending, uh, you know, these uh, these Chirotech pieces in here. My goodness, this that what a penalty that would be if you started spending some of these this gear up at the top. But you get down here, and yeah, this gear is definitely spendable. What do we got down at the bottom? Uh, I think we're going to leave all that stuff because that helps us That helps us down the road and helps us gear guys up. But we can spend some of this for sure. Not quite as many. We got to 200 on the other ones. This is not... Yeah, I don't want to spend these. My goodness, these gold balls are so valuable. Why would... Holy cannoli. They sneak those in there to... And, and the whole... CG is hoping you'll spend those so that you have to come and buy them later. And that's not what Nooch is going to do. I got 175 of these. Now, this is where, for this level, all this gear is so valuable, guys. The only thing you want to use to, to make these erodium heat sinks. Scroll up. What is going on? Nooch is, uh, wow. Okay. So, you want to make these erodium heat sinks. And I've gone over this before. But what you want to do, you don't want to do this. So, let's look at, if I do 20 of these. 20 of these is four erodium heat sinks, okay? So let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and we'll do one of them here while you guys are watching. So let's go over to Captain Phasma. And she's got an erodium heat sink that's in one of these pieces. I think it's in this. Yes. So, so if we put pop on this, now let's go ahead and craft one. Craft is what the word Nooch was looking for earlier. So we craft one of these. Now let's go back to the Jawa. I don't think I got a way of getting back in there through the character. Now we go to the erodium, the erodium heat sink, and now we have one of these. Remember, we got four for twenty of those. We can for twenty of those individual pieces, we got four erodium heat sinks. But if we craft it, we get ten, and that's a pretty significant. You know, ten is six more than four. Just FYI, ten is six more than four. So you want to be you want to be crafting these erodium heat sinks, and that's the only thing you should use. To get these, use these Merc, is it Merson, Mark III, Cener, Holo Projector Salvage. Uh, you know, Nooch is not an engineer. Then we get into this dicey stuff, and this is where it's going to be really tricky um, as we get, uh, we got three characters to Relic to Seven. It's going to be KRU, Emperor Palpatine, and OG Kylo. And I think those are the only Relic Sevens that we need to get Kylo. And that's going to cost us... Some pretty significant gear there, guys. Some pretty significant gear. Kylo Ren unmasked. Kylo Ren. Yep. And uh, Palpatine. Those are our only Relic 7s that we'll use. Everything else will stop at those eroding heat sinks. Those three characters will have to get those big pieces, which actually isn't that big of a toll to pay. Of course, then we're going to need that gear to get to Kylo Ren unmasked as well. So there we are, guys. Day 228. We, we are making significant progress. I guess I'll have to break it down here at some point soon and really see where we've come because it feels like in the last... I don't know, 60 days or so, we have, we've gotten all these relics. We've really made a tremendous deal of progress on the relics. You can see here that First Order Stormtrooper is right around the corner. I'd guess that'll be coming in another week, week and a half. Then we got First Order TIE Pilot and Captain Phasma. And after we get those guys done, we'll activate Veteran Smuggler Han Solo and get him done. I'm hooping, Nooch is hoping in a couple of months we can, we can have all these guys done. And by the way, if we're talking a couple of months... This is just an account progress update, right? So in a couple of months, we will have TIE Advanced 
Kylo Ren's command shuttle, Houndstooth, and Xanadu Blood. In fact, I Nooch believes that in one month. I think, I'm hoping by September 1st, certainly by the time, you know, finalizer kind of rolls around like the 7th or the 10th of the month and then rolls back around on the 20th, something like that. They separate it by several weeks. Um, I believe by the time we get to September, finalizer runs, Nooch will have these ships in there. So we'll be able to go September twice, October twice. We need seven of them. September twice, October twice, November twice. That's six. But the refresh is 999, which is about 1,000, and Nooch will have 2,000 crystals by then. So September, October, November, November, November. Nooch will be able to refresh if we get lucky, maybe in October, but I think in November. So that makes Nooch sinks. If I can get all these relics done by November, and if I can get all the ships, if Nooch can get all the ships in there and get finalizer by the end of November, we might have a Thanksgiving Day present of unlocking Supreme Leader Kylo Ren around Thanksgiving Day. Now, wouldn't that be a treat? Wouldn't that be something to be very, very thankful for here in America on Thanksgiving Day, the uh, the holiday initiated by Abraham Lincoln, the third Thursday of the month, although usually it falls like, it usually falls later than that. I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, Thanksgiving Day. That's our new target. Thanksgiving Day target for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren to unlock him. And then we would hope to, by Christmas, have him all reliced up up to Relic 7 and be crushing everybody in in Squad Arena by then and moving on to our next projects, which Nooch has some ideas on. We'll get around to that by then. But guys, that's all we got today. Always remember as we're going after Supreme Leader Kylo Ren that, uh, well, you know, you need... <laughs> and Nooch too good. Young I'm too far over. Getting there quickly. Oh crap. <laughs>